All right, sit down, lie down, squat down, but I'm back, bell tails. Before I forget, because it's been a while since I've done a, a story, if you've not subscribed, please do so, and click that bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So, one of the things I wanted to talk about is, truth be told, is co-parenting. That is, you know, that's our new normal. Most of us are in a co-parenting relationship with the ex. And one of the reasons why I didn't do family law is because I don't like how kids get put in the middle and used as pawns. That has always bothered me because, you know, regardless of how you feel about your ex, it is still the mom or the dad of the child. And at some point, you cared enough about that person to create another life. And I, I get it. It's frustrating because there are times that, you know, your ex knows what buttons to push. He or she knows how to agitate and trigger. And it doesn't, the co-parenting relationships very rarely do they happen quickly. They take time. When I say time, the average that I've noticed is about three to four years for things to kind of mesh out and everybody just learn how to, you stay over here, you stay over there. This is, you know, what we do. This is the system. Um, another thing that will help with your co-parenting is keep the boyfriends, gift friends, new wives, new husbands out of y'all's co-parenting relationship. Because regardless, they are not the parents of this child. You two are. So it's crucial that you only deal with the other parent because that is, you know, your child's mom or dad. Um, refrain as much as you can from bashing the other parent to the child. What you all don't realize is when you bash the other parent within earshot of that child especially, you are hurting the DNA of your own child. And you are setting your child up for all sorts of emotional issues down the road. Um, I was listening to a guy the other night uh, who is a motivational speaker and he had talked about rejection. And scientists had done a study with an MRI and had um, 10 people, five that had had a physical injury and five that had given a story about rejection they had um, they had endured. And the brain responds to both the same. And what he said, what scientists had noticed is even though the physical pain it hurts, just along like this, the emotional pain, the physical pain eventually will heal and you can get past it. The emotional pain is life, it, it, it holds for years. Years and years and years. And the last thing you want to do is your child to grow up thinking they're not wanted and they're not loved. Because when you are either, you know, I've heard stories of exes keeping the children from the other parent or, you know, kids, people that I know as adults recall stories of mom or dad bashing the other parent in front of them and they said that hurt that really hurt because that was still my mom or that was still my dad and regardless of how they felt you know they shouldn't have said that because that really that I'll never forget that that hurt you know and step parents coming into it need to honestly step back you don't really need to get involved and you don't need to give your an opinion unless it's a safety issue or it's it's maybe you're a mediator maybe you actually help mediate the the two exes which is great so that's just some things I've noticed over the last few weeks and different people I've talked to and I thought you know co-parenting is something we deal with now it is our new normal so some tips I could give you is do your best to stick to the facts 
That's why there's a court order in place. So you keep your emotions and your opinions out of it. You just stick to the order. Stick to the facts. Keep it as simple as you can. Keep your feelings and your opinions out of the situation. And it will help you in the future on co-parenting. And it will also eliminate fighting and bickering with each other. Because honestly, I, I hate to, to fight, and fight and bicker. Sorry. But that will help in the future. So anyways, that's it. That's my first story in a long time. And... I will do more of these in between my little um, comfort food, my cooking with Belle comfort foods that I do. So, please and thank yous are a must. Smile never hurt no one. Be cognizant of the things you say and how you say them. Because ladies and gentlemen, kindness will forever be priceless. Alright, y'all have a good week. Bye-bye.